Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra and I make minimalist videos. When I close out? No. So today's video is going to be how minimalism helped me embrace my fantasy self. So um, I know there's a lot of videos out there talking about how people through minimalism declutter things and they declutter their fantasy self or come to realization that the fantasy self is not who they really are. So um, for me, I went kind of like, I guess, in the opposite direction. Um, when I first started minimalism, I was decluttering a lot of things that weren't really part of my current life. So I thought that, okay, that's kind of like my fantasy self will get rid of it. And what I was left with was like things that wasn't really what I wanted my life to be. And I didn't really feel happy about it. So I found that just recently, like in this past couple like weeks, when I decided that, like I was like watching several of those videos and I was like, it kind of struck me, what if I decided to embrace my fantasy self? What if, because I'm a minimalist and I don't let myself have excess of things that I don't want anyway, so I felt like, I feel like I don't have much in my life anyway, why don't I put back into my life the things that I consider my fantasy self? And once I did that, life just got so much better like to give an example um i used a law of manifestation for like um these like black knee-high boots that i wanted i really wanted them i always like screenshot pictures of girls wearing these and I, I just really wanted a pair but i felt like oh that's that's not me so i'm not gonna buy a pair but then when i decided you know i'm gonna live my fantasy self i'm gonna like rock my fantasy look all of a sudden my life just it like not like my life was like transformed, but it just I felt I felt different. I felt fulfilled, and it was like a really nice feeling. And I felt like this is a much better feeling than decluttering my fantasy self. To kind of give an example of when I was decluttering my fantasy self, um, I have like a pin pin skirt, um, pencil skirt that looks more like for business attire. And I think I talked about it in like one of my other videos. I got rid of all of my business attire because I'm in medical school and I won't ever need that attire. But I still held on to this one pin skirt, and I was like. It's really pretty, it's really nice, like, I'm gonna hang on to it. I'll never use it, and I rarely ever use it, but I, I was like, I didn't want to let go of it, and I didn't really understand why. I just, I really liked it, so I still held on to it. And, like, now that I'm in this, like, living out my fantasy self phase, I'm like, I'm so glad I kept it, because I feel like I can put it on, and I can embody who I want to be when I wear it, and I'm just, I'm like, oh, thank God I didn't declutter that, because... <laughs> It's like, I guess it's because, or through minimalism, you realize, okay, these are things that do make me happy. And I kind of was ashamed of the things that I liked because some of the things I liked are kind of materialistic and not really in line with, you know, minimalism and anti-consumerism and da 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 blah, blah, blah. So I was like, you know what, like, it's good that I took a break. Everybody, I think everybody needs to take a break from these things once in a while to kind of like clean your palate. It's almost kind of like dieting a bit. But I was like... Right now, I'm in like that maximalist phase. I, I want to live out my fantasy self. Like another thing is like I wanted to I want to buy this jacket um, that's like kind of expensive, but I'm like putting it off because I think like, oh, it's kind of pricey, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. So what I came to conclude in terms of like price is that um, in You Are a Badass, the author talks about work harder and get the things that you do want. I um, mean, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he advocated for, you know, get out of the rat race, don't buy luxury things, um, buy assets first. But at the very end of the book, he, which I kind of, I don't even remember having read this before, but I went back and I was just like reading through it. He was saying that um, when you feel not motivated to do anything, which is kind of what I was feeling, he said, push hard. And what pushes you harder? Greed. I was like, whoa! I was like, it's like, I don't know. It was just, it was like interesting. I was like, wow, okay. So... I, I let myself have these things, the things that I kept telling myself, like, I had just been practicing, you know, like, shopping celibacy, don't buy this, don't buy that, don't buy this, all of a sudden, it was like, I got the go, it's like, if you work hard, if you're a little bit greedy, when you've entered that zone of you don't want to do anything because nothing motivates you anymore, I mean, honestly, all of civilization is based on the fact that we want better, we want more, and that's what pushes us forward, I'm not advocating to be a consumerist, I'm not, but I'm just saying, there's, there's like there's there's good and bad to both sides of every concept so i yeah because because of all of this i was like you know what like i'm gonna just embrace my min my minimalist self my minimalist self is going to embrace my fantasy self um because like as a minimalist um 
since you declutter things you don't want, you're allowed to have the things you do want. I think that sometimes the point's kind of missed sometimes, even me myself, sometimes I miss that point. Like, I think that I'm a minimalist. I can't have anything at all. That's kind of where it goes. Like, I just, I get kind of like excessive and obsessive about these things. I think like, I can't have things I don't want. Okay, fine. But I want that, but I can't have that either because that's that's a want, that's a need. And it's like, no, that's not what minimalism is about. It's, it's about having more of what you love. So if the this fantasy self, that I love and want to embrace. Fuck it, I'm going for it. So, yeah. Um, I actually wrote here, originally this video was gonna be, um, hang on, is this recording? Yeah, this this was originally gonna be, I stopped pinning my hopes on material things. Um, and, I, and I honestly was gonna film that and I wanted to talk about that, but then I felt that, that I felt empty, sort of, like a little bit. Like, I was kinda like, I was like, I don't want to talk about that. Stop. When I, I mean, there was a period of time though when it did help to have, when I did, when I was having stopped pinning my hopes on material things, you know, like, I, I understand that, you know, buying a Gucci, a Gucci purse, a Gucci, a Gucci purse or a Gucci belt or whatever, those things don't make you or don't give you value. You are a value in, of yourself. But it was like, I had to keep trying to give myself, like, validation or suppressing myself by time is like I'm fine just the way I am I'm just fine the way I am but that's not me that's not my personality I thrive on trying to better myself and by telling myself to be stagnant and just be at a constant I can't have things but I can't declutter I just have to exist in the zone of like of as is was driving me crazy so I was like okay fine I don't pin my hopes on material things like for example um, I don't buy clothes that are too small for me if that's not my size anymore like I don't do stupid shit like that anymore but I do let myself have things that are nice if it's a nice thing I'll let myself have it there's a period like there's it's been a while since I've let myself have nice things I've already gone through the phase of um, and practicing you know buy something use it up and get something new it's been like several years now and i'm pretty good at it and i haven't like slipped up or anything it's just become a lifestyle so i feel like okay now i can incorporate into my life luxury things if i want um because i've become more mindful about what i'm buying and and i'm not buying stupid shit like i have so much more money now because i have not bought any stupid shit like the very few things that i bring home with me have been like long thought out like i'm talking like months like half a year's worth of like thinking about what if I want it or I don't want it when's a good time to buy it maybe I can get it on sale yada yada blah 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 so I feel that like now I'm allowed to you know and we're visual creatures I'm allowed to create an imagery or a world for myself if that's what I want you know like there's this quote like fake it till you make it so I felt like you know if if you have certain things but you're not quite actually that for example if you're always out buying luxury stuff but you're not actually you know you know, you're not wealthy, you're, you don't have um, passive income and things like that, and you're just trying to, like, portray a certain look, I don't think that's healthy. But I think, on the other hand, in the process of life, because life is just a journey, if you're working towards, you know, passive income and doing what you need to do when you need to do, I think it's okay to treat yourself to a couple, like, nice things. I think it's okay. Because um, at the end of the day, honestly, you really only have this one life. Um, I do think it's important to put away for old age, hence... Uh, you need to do this responsibly. You need to be doing what you need to be doing, putting money away for old age, you know, um, paying off your debts and all of that. So once you've done that and you find, okay, I have a little cash, it's okay. Within your means, you can, you can embrace your fantasy self. You can put it together here and there. You don't need to go out and splurge and do what you, you know, have it now, but bit by bit. And it's just the mentality of allowing yourself, having that uh, sense of abundance. Like, you know what? You can be who you want to be. You shouldn't limit yourself because the most powerful thing that you have is your mind. I know. I know everybody says that, you know. There's that book, what is it? Think and Grow Rich. Yeah, honestly, your limitations is just in your mind. Like, you're, you can be anything that you want if you put your mind to it. So... I decided to embrace that. I decided to embrace my fantasy self. And I feel a lot happier. Like, so much happier. Like, for example, I, I want to have long, luscious virgin hair. And I have a lot of growth. And my hair has grown quite long. And I do, like, I do what I need to do to get it. Like, I do coconut hair treatments. I, 
I left my straightener behind in Taiwan. That's why my hair looks so much more healthier. My curls are like fuller. Um, I want to be 100 pounds. So what do I do? I eat vegetables. I eat healthy. Show you guys. I think that, yeah, like... I don't believe in faking it till you make it. I believe in pretending it's already yours, that you're authentic, that it's already yours, that you are already living it. And then it will be yours, right? Like, if you're trying to fake fake a, a skinny body by wearing too tight clothes or, like, whatever, whatever. I, like, I don't even know how do you fake. Like, those, like, those waist cincher things and you're not actually doing what you need to do to actually be, you know, a thin person, eat healthy, working out, drinking water then you're faking it and, and it's you're not actually that. But if you do what you need to do today, like say for example, if you want to be a YouTuber, I'll use that for an example, like you can't, you, you have to make videos, you need to put in the work and then you'll become who, who you are, you know? Like for me, I was like always buying makeup and storing it in my vanity, like a YouTuber, but I wasn't a YouTuber, I wasn't filming it, I wasn't reviewing it, I wasn't doing anything with it, you know, even though that's who I wanted to be. My makeup hoarding obsession stemmed from the fact that I wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to film, but I was focusing on the symptoms of it rather than actually being it. You know, like now that I film, I don't like you. You guys can see my makeup. I think you guys have. Yeah, that's it. That is that is all my makeup. And instead, I'm my life feels so much more fulfilled because I'm I'm living, I'm living, I'm living the fantasy. So, yeah, I don't know if this has helped anybody out there. Um, I think I just want to like sum up the video because like, I'm going to go eat right now. You can be anyone you want to be. It doesn't matter what your background is. It doesn't like there are so many limitations. You probably will need to work so much more harder than other people. But if you if you know what, honestly, just enjoy the process. Whether you get there, or you don't get there. You're on the day to day. You're happier knowing that you've accepted that you're allowed to pursue the goals that you want don't be ashamed don't be afraid just go for it like for me myself that was kind of like where it was coming from I was ashamed to want some of the things that I wanted you know like I was ashamed to want luxury things because I thought like I don't even know what it is I can't even explain to you guys maybe you guys can understand what what I'm what I'm feeling or what I felt you know like here I wrote fantasy self wanting to look rich wanting to look like a Weibo girl buying a coach bag doesn't make me rich you know what? No, wrong. I want to look rich because I want to be rich. I want to look like a Weibo girl because I like that aesthetic. I'm not going to be ashamed of that aesthetic that I like it. I like long hair and skinny legs. I don't care. I like it. Um, buying a coach bag doesn't make me rich, but when coach first came out, it was expensive as hell and I couldn't afford it. The fact that I can buy it is because I have the means to buy it, which in itself is wealth. So yes, buying a coach bag does make me rich. And then I wrote here, therefore, living fulfilled makes me rich. Living fulfilled means all aspects of life, the spiritual, the emotional, the physical. Indulge in all of those things. Live a balanced life. And I think that you will be happier. This is more for me than for you guys. But if it helps you guys too, yeah, just, just indulge responsibly. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, that sums up my video. If you guys want to hit the subscribe button, smash the subscribe button and the like button. And my social media is at Mignon Cobra. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah! I love you guys. Bye.